This little puppy was found abandoned in the rubbish area, struggling to survive by feeding on a dead sheep. He was just a few months old, terrified and all alone. Slow, slow, Takis. Don't be scared. Yes. You are a good boy or a good girl. Yeah. Good boy or a good girl. Bravo. Bravo, Rabbit. He's a boy. He have no ticks, but he looks very white. When he arrived at the shelter, he was paralyzed with fear, almost frozen in the place. But after a few days, he began to realize he was finally safe. Slowly, his trust started to grow and he started to show glimpses of happiness by playing with the other dogs. We gave him the name Caesar and he settled in quickly as a puppy, but he always remained a calmer, more reserved dog. Even as he grew, he stayed cautious, a bit anxious around new people and new situations. While other dogs in the shelter happily run over visitors, Caesar held back, needing his own time to feel safe. Dogs like Caesar are often overlooked. Despite growing up in the shelter, no one showed interest in him, not even when we advertised. His shyness made it harder for people to feel an immediate connection. But we believed in Caesar. We saw his gentle heart and knew he just needed someone willing to understand him. So, we worked with him, building his confidence with walks, leash training and lots of patience. When the time was right, we sent Caesar to a foster home in Germany. And from here, Christina will continue Caesar's story. My name is Christina, um, I live in Prague and I have adopted Caesar uh, in January. Uh, we changed his name to Charlie because Caesar in our language just doesn't sound right. And it was almost sound as if we were making fun of him because Caesar is just a giant brave dog and Charlie is everything but not giant and brave yet. A big change with Charlie is though that he's almost a special need dog so while we believe or I believe that he's still going to make some progress uh, I realize that he's probably never going to be normal uh, in the sense that he's still very afraid of other dogs, people, new environments. Um, he gets scared uh, by pretty much anything unexpected. It can be a small stick cracking under my shoe or wind. So I have to be cautious all the time where we go, uh, whom are we going to meet. He spends most of his time with us at home. Fortunately, we have a big park right by our house, which is not too busy. He seems to be relaxed in like his territory by now. I mean, it's been, what, eight months since we've adopted him. He has this own place where he likes to run, and I can tell that he's enjoying himself. I can tell that there is a bond between him and I because I am his main person. I cook his meals, I take him out, I take him to the vet. But if he has like these like moments when he starts coming out of his shell, he's just very funny. He's smart. Uh, whenever food is around, he like starts uh, to jump up which is something that he's never done before. So yeah, probably the first time he, he lay in the, in the grass when we were out because that was never ever his thing. He would just be always on guard whenever we went out. So finally he's relaxed enough to sniff grass, to roll over in grass, to run. Um, yeah, he enjoys running and he enjoys car rides, so this is something that we try to um, 
you know, um, make him enjoy as much as we possibly can. It's probably one of the best decisions that I've made. And if you want to feel some love in your heart, unconditional, uh, adopt a dog. And it's one of the best feelings that you can probably experience <laughs> because you've helped a dog, you've helped yourself uh, do to all the walkies that we do. Uh, but yeah, it's just this overwhelming, overwhelming like influx of emotions when you see a dog that's happy because of you. Yeah, so that's probably it. Okay, bye everyone. <laughs>